okay now i just have some uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 sketches here this is to indicate you have different number of shapes say for example your rectangle triangle hexagon pentagon whatever it is they are solid basically we are more dependent on first what do you mean by a prism means what is a prism what is a cylinder and what do you mean by a pyramid okay now what i say just show a cylinder i'll say this is a cylinder you agree you have a round shape here and back has a round shape this is becomes a cylinder for this and if i want to show a prism i'll show this is a prism prism means actually what is this shape this is a pentagon a yeah, pentagon back side also it's pentagon so whatever the shapes you have in the top and base i can say it, if you hold like this it's the base and the top the base and the top both the sides if the same shape it is it becomes a prism for example you see this sketch what is this shape it is a triangular shape why it's called right triangular exactly a triangle it is resting on the base so right triangular prism right triangular prism is first like this what will be this then right pentagonal prism okay the prism means simply understand the top and base will be with same shape it's called prism so i have an example of here pentagonal prism and something called here oblique pentagonal oblique means the axis of the body that is for example this pentagon you know this shape pentagon it have an axis here the center is the axis and from center if this axis of the pentagon is slightly inclined okay pentagon you can hold it like this or anywhere it, it is slightly inclined to any angle either to hp or vp that becomes oblique the name oblique means the axis of the body is in you know have an slight inclination with respect to the horizontal or vertical plane so i just say this my axis here if i just put an horizontal line that axis got a small tilt or inclination it's called oblique so a prism means the top face and the base or same it should have a same shape pentagon means pentagon at the bottom and top also or whatever the different shapes it is the oblique is when the axis is slightly inclined to the base or to the ground it's called oblique okay then i go for a cylinder the cylinder i showed this is a cylinder shape now this will be the right circular cylinder i have written right circular cylinder is this now again oblique circular means what if the cylinder i got a center of axis that is the imaginary axis if there is inclined like this it becomes oblique circular cylinder the second one the third one something called pyramid basically what do we pyramid i hope you have you know watched the movies etc you know what is a pyramid means is nothing but whatever may be the base shape it is but the joining point in the top will be a single point and this top point is called either apex or vertex i have written here it's vertex or also called apex okay the base may be of anything here i have written it's a right triangular pyramid it is it's a triangle in the base but the joining top point is a single point it's called vertex or apex so that is called a pyramid and this is for a triangle one more i have a square here it is a right circular pyramid see the right is the word used for just the base is placed properly in the ground okay so right circular pyramid i mean <coughs> square pyramid and one more i have here oblique pentagonal pyramid i have the pentagon shape so any shape it is a pentagon in the boss of bottom but the axis of the suppose this is what is this ah this i have a hexagonal pyramid this is an hexagon the shape is hexagon it's a pyramid because joined to the top point is one if this is suppose straight it's kept like this it will be a right hexagonal pyramid when the axis is inclined the imagination is the axis comes in the center it is imaginary we cannot see through the naked eye so if it is inclined like this it will be a oblique say this if this is example this is an hexagonal pyramid so here what i have drawn is oblique pentagonal pyramid that's it so these sketches are very very important because based on this most of your questions will appear 
if you know what is a prism perfectly i'm not see i just drawn only three sketches you may have whatever you have the all the polygons your triangle rectangle uh, i mean uh, your pentagon hexagon all you will get both the sides top and base are same it would become prism if it is like cylinder means you can obviously understand what is cylinder means then it is pyramid pyramid is top point is a single point which is called apex or vertex that's it. okay very very important you should remember what is this means if you understand once you a prism is this a cylinder is this a pyramid is this you will then go to the concept of thinking where should i place the base where is the top that depends on the questions okay